Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we get a new SPC of Future Stars after a couple of days. Uh, we didn't get anything. Uh, and it's going to be this guy right here, which is Kubo from Mallorca. Takefusa Kubo. Okay. Uh, this is a massive upgrade for this guy from his base card. It's a silver 70 rated. So he gets 18 ratings. So massive, massive boost all around um, on all his attributes. It looks like a very nice card, uh, four star, four star, high medium, left footed on a right wing. Um, so it looks like a very nice card. It takes an 85 and an 84, so say somewhere around 150k maybe to complete this card. Now this is a right wing from um, La Liga, and obviously you have uh, a big dominance there by Messi. Uh, then you have Dembele. Um, then you have the new future star Rodrigo, which I believe comes out as a right wing. Um, you also have uh, Bale from that side. So there's quite a few options on the right wing. There are not that many options on the left wing, on the other hand, but there's a lot of options on the right wing. But still, for 150k, and as uh, these stats um, can, can tell, uh, if you can tell by these stats, this card might be worth it for 150k. It remains to be seen in game. Uh, so let's go and check him out. Also, he's Japanese, and there's a lot of Japanese uh, card, uh, cards lately, uh, special cards. Uh, Tommy Yasu, I, would, I believe it was a center back. Uh, Saji was the other center back. Uh, we have Yamaguchi, I believe, in the season now at level 15. Um, we also have uh, the left wing from um, uh, what is it, the Portuguese League SBC. So there are like four, five, six special cards, Japanese cards. You can also get Nakata there. Uh, so it's shaping up to be a full special Japanese uh, team, which might be a very interesting team to make. Um, let's go into the details. We have 95 pace overall with uh, 99 acceleration and uh, 89 sprint speed. Um, we haven't applied the chem style yet, but um, I'm not sure yet what to give him. Let's see how it is li like this. Uh, 84 shooting overall with 86 attack positioning, 89 finishing, 85 shot power, uh, 72 long shots, 79 volleys and 85 penalties, 86 overall passing, 83 vision, uh, 76 crossing. 99 free kicks, wow. Uh, 92 short pass, 74 long pass, and 94 curve. Uh, dribbling overall 91, which is as high as that. Uh, agility 96, balance 96, very nice right there, a good pairing. Uh, reaction 71, ball control 91, dribbling 92, and composure 74. Uh, no defending, and physical overall 69 with 71 jumping, very high stamina 95, strength 59, and aggression 57. A bit low on strength and aggression, but it's something that we commonly see on wingers, especially when they're like small, like this guy. Uh, we, uh, he's 173, so he's like 5'8", uh, I want to say. Uh, like you said, high, medium work rates, left footed, 4-star, uh, 4-star. Four four uh, very nice all around. Um, it's kind of mixed on the chem styles that you might want to give this guy. Because um, he has uh, just, you know, one or two weaknesses, but uh, there are in areas that uh, the Kim style, half of it will go wasted. Uh, you can't give him pace uh, to improve the sprint speed because you'll waste the acceleration points. If you give him dribbling stats uh, for maybe reactions or composure, uh, you'll waste the rest of the stats in the dribbling area. Um, I don't know which one. Uh, probably a Deadeye uh, might be looking like the good, the best Kim style to put on this guy. So um, I'll go and uh, apply a Kim style and I'll be right back. So here we go, we applied the Deadeye. Um, obviously some stats are wasted here, but not that many. We get uh, plus 13 in attack positioning to 99. We get plus 10 in finishing to 99. We get plus 10 in shot power to 95. We got plus five in long shots to 77. And in the passing, we get plus 10 in vision to 93, plus five in crossing to 81, and plus seven in short pass to 99, and also plus five in curve to 99. So uh, passing and shooting is greatly improved now. So it's very, very effective, I believe, to shoot and to pass with this guy as we will probably need it. So let's go into a couple of games. We'll obviously play this guy as a right winger in his natural position as the card is given and see how he plays in that position. And uh, if we're satisfied in the first game in that position, we'll go into the second game and try and play him in a different role, maybe as a striker or something like that. Okay, here we go with uh, our first opponent, a very nice uh, hybrid of a few leagues, three leagues actually. Um, nice red Mbappe there. So we're gonna go into this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, we're gonna play Kubo, Future Stars, 
in the right cam as a right winger um, with no instructions to see how he plays in game. Those set out his speed. It's very nice and fast. First good. Good pass. Nice vision. Nice pass. Oh no, that was a terrible pass. Steal. A terrible uh I don't know what it was anyways. Let's go again. Alright, two nil. Block. He gets two shots, he gets two goals. Shoot. What a goal. Wow. Okay. Nice. Turn. Good pass. Nice. Good pass. Bring it back. Good pass. Nice. Shoot. Oh, good shot on his left foot. One back. There we go. Three three. So three three. Uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know. Kind of stupid match, I would say. Um, nothing too much from Kubo, although he gets a very good match rating. He did a lot of running, uh, good passing. Uh, he had one assist, uh, two and two shots on target. Excellent shooting, actually, with his left foot. Uh, 7 on 8 passes, 8 on 13 dribbles, and 2 on 2 tackles, so that's why the match rating uh, very high. Um, I would say an excellent first performance, but the match itself was kind of a, not a great match. So I think we'll go into another game and uh, play Kubo in the same position uh, again. Alright, here we go with our second game, a Bundesliga team, uh, mainly, maybe doing objectives. Um, with some very nice play players in there, player of the month, Werner especially, up top. So we're gonna go again in the same formation, 4-2-3-1, and play Kubo in the right wing uh, position, right cam, um, and with no instructions to test him out uh, one more time. So, run it Kubo, speed, get okay. ah, deserve that. Not so easy. Oh, oh. Yes, Google, come on. That's another great game. All right, so we're going to change the formation for the second half as there's not much being done again. That's all right, we'll let everybody get it uh, up there to score. We had the chance with Kubo, but uh, he couldn't make it, so. All right, and that's game. Uh, we lose 1-3, deservingly so. We had no chances whatsoever. Kubo was a disappointment. Uh, we played him as a striker in the second half. Um, the first half we played him as a ringer, where he played in the first game, but there was nothing going on. Um, Attacking wise, he was there for passing, he was there for dribbling, uh, but he didn't contribute uh, anything into giving us a, a chance of winning the game. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So we're gonna have, I uh, forgot his name, um, Takefusa Kubo from uh, Mallorca. Two games, uh, one assist. Uh, as a winger, he is fast, he's explosive. Um, and uh, for you know the first uh, few um, feet, uh, he is explosive. Um, his pace is there. Uh, he has very nice agility, so he's good and quick on turning. 
with the left stick and good control of the ball as well. Uh, great passing, um, especially short passing is very nice and, and, and on point and very um, uh, powerful. I mean, it goes very quick to uh, your teammate. Uh, his finishing apparently is not there because I think the chance he had was a good chance to at least get it on target. We didn't even get it on target, even if it was on his weak foot, but he has a four star weak foot, so shouldn't really make that difference to at least, like I said, get it on target. So that was a big minus for me. Uh, also, the strength is not really there. So it was, uh, especially that second game, I think we were against uh, Zanetti. Now it was getting pushed off the ball uh, quite a lot. Uh, but it's a common occurrence with uh, the wingers that we get, uh, anyways. Most of them are kind of small in frame, so. Uh, they're kind of weak, not a lot of strength there to control the ball. Um, that's also uh, due to um, composure as well, um, to keep the ball. Uh, but at 74 composure, I don't think it's that low for him to be losing the ball. I don't think giving him like plus 5 or plus 10 that will make that big of a difference there. Um, all in all, I would say it's a good card, uh, but nothing too great. Uh, especially from that side, I will still much prefer to play um, some version of Dembele or even Bale. And now on the other hand, uh, this guy, like we said, it's going to cost about 150k to complete the SBC. You get a 15k and a 25k pack back, I believe, so that's going to be 40k. Uh, also, the value of the card as an 88 should be somewhere around 30k if you don't like him and later you put him in an SBC. So that's going to be 70k. So basically out of 150k, you get 70k back uh, in value. Uh, now depending on what you hit on those packs, you know, it might be lower or higher. So this card realistically is somewhere between 80 and 100k that we, you will sink in this guy. Um, again, I don't know, for 100k, I would much rather play somebody else from La Liga, especially a tradable card like, uh, like I said, Dembele or Bale. Uh, Rodrigo is probably too expensive, um, I don't know, there, there are quite a few options there, uh, but even that, I think maybe even that gold Dembele or even nominee Dembele uh, might be, if not as good, but it won't be that far behind this card. So all in all, I would say it's probably not a good uh, card uh, value-wise to complete this SBC. So this is going to be it for this review, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.